we have discussed in detail in previous lectures the different symmetry operations in crystal lattice. Now on the basis of this symmetry operations, uh, we are going to discuss a very important concept of crystallography and this is actually the concept of classification of uh, lattices. How the lattice can be classified, uh, <coughs> what are the different types of plane lattice or you can say the two dimensional lattice or a space lattice. Actually you know the shape of the unit cell uh, depends on the magnitude of the translational vectors A, B, C and the three interfacial angles alpha, beta and gamma. Okay. And you also know since there is no natural restriction on the length of these uh, translational unit uh, translational vectors ABC of the lattice and also there is no natural restriction on the values of the interfacial angles alpha, beta and gamma. So it is obvious that there will be unlimited number of lattices possible. So we must therefore impose restrictive conditions on the translational vectors ABC and uh, after this restriction we can construct lattice that will remain invariant under one or more symmetry operations. Okay, With uh, such restrictions we can get distinct lattice types by positioning lattice point in a space so as to get the identical surroundings. Okay. In fact, in 1848, a well-known Russian mathematician named A. Breves showed that because of the point symmetry of crystal lattices, when you say point symmetry, that means the symmetry of crystal associated with rotations, reflections and inversions or combination of these. We can construct 14 types of lattices in 3D space okay? and in a similar manner we can also construct 5 different types of lattices in 2 dimensional space. Actually this technique was provided by Breves. So commonly these distinct lattices are known as Breves lattices. Okay. So in nutshell you can say that by the <coughs> point symmetry operations like rotation, inversion and reflection, Breves classified the lattice in basically in, uh, basically in two classes. In first class, we talk about the plane lattice, that is lattice in two-dimensional space. And in second class, we talk about the three-dimensional lattices, that is lattice in 3D space. And in case of the lattice in a plane, there will be five different types of lattice. And in case of a space lattice, there will be 14 different types of lattices. And all these lattices are called Breves lattices. Okay. In this lecture, our aim is only to discuss the Breves lattices in two dimensions. Okay. In fact, uh, you know, uh, in case of two dimensional lattices, only the three parameters are required to characterize the two dimensional lattices. And those parameters are A, B, and the angle phi between A and B. These are the three parameters. And depending upon the values of these A, B and phi, Brevas found that there will be 
फाइव टाइप्स ऑफ प्लेन लेटिसज एंड दोज फाइव टाइप्स ऑफ प्लेन लेटिसज आर नोन एज ऑब्लिक्वी लेटिस प्रिमिटिव रेक्टेंगुलर लेटिस सेंटर्ड रेक्टेंगुलर लेटिस स्क्वायर लेटिस एंड हेक्सागोनल लेटिस ओके दीज आर द फाइव डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ टू डायमेंशनल लेटिसज इंट्रोड्यूस्ड बाय ब्रेफेस now one by one you will learn about the important characteristic features of these five lattices and one thing you should mind here that you have to remember these facts to write down about these lattices in your examination okay now <clears throat> let us see the important features of obliquely lattice in fact in two dimensional obliquely lattice the unit cell is a parallelogram as you can see in this figure i have shown a parallelogram here let us say it is a b c d this is uh, the unit cell of this obliquely lattice okay actually in most of uh, the general kind of two dimensional lattice are of obliquely lattice okay and this lattice is specified by the characteristic feature like this in this case the magnitude of the translational vectors a and b are not equal and this angle phi is not equal to 90 degree okay so you can see i have written here that mod of a is not equal to mod of b and phi is not equal to 90 degree now uh, we will see what are the associated symmetry in this case actually the symmetries associated with such a lattice are inversion symmetry and two fold rotation axis okay so <clears throat> and symbolically we write uh, for inversion symmetry we write uh, one and uh, for two fold rotation axis we write 2m okay so symbolically we write the associated symmetry with obliquely lattice as 1 comma 2m okay so these are the important features of obliquely lattice okay now <clears throat> the another two dimensional brevis lattice is primitive rectangular lattice when you talk about primitive rectangular lattice in such a lattice you know <coughs> the mod of a is not equal to mod of b and but this angle phi is equal to 90 degree okay and the unit cell in this case is a rectangle as you can see in this figure and the side length of the, this rectangle is not equal as mod of a is not equal to mod of b because these two translation vector represents the two sides of this uh, unit cell okay but uh, angle phi is equal to 90 degree okay. in this case there exists two fold rotation axis and two perpendicular set of mirror lines and symbolically it is denoted by 2m and 2mm okay so this is the these are the important features of primitive rectangular uh, lattice as you can see in this case the lattice points lie only at the corner so it is called primitive rectangular lattice okay there is no lattice point inside this uh, rectangle now the third brevis lattice in a plane is called rectangular centered lattice rectangular centered lattice actually this lattice is specified by mod of a is not equal to mod of b and this angle phi you can see is equal to cos inverse a over 2b okay in fact uh, when you talk about the primitive unit cell in this case of uh, lattice 
the primitive unit cell is a obliquely parallelogram uh, which i have marked here let us say a b c d this is the primitive unit cell and this is uh, just like a, an obliquely parallelogram but when you talk about the non primitive unit cell that will be a centered rectangle which i have uh, <coughs> which i am marking here this is a b e f you can see this is a rectangle and at its center this lattice point lying at point d is at the uh, <coughs> inside this uh, rectangle okay so in this case the angular parameter this gamma i have shown in figure is equal to 90 degree so when you talk about the non primitive cell which with that will be a rectangle and in uh, for, for this again mod of a is not equal to mod of b but angle gamma will be equal to 90 degree now in this case uh, the symmetry associated with this lattice are two fold rotation axis and two perpendicular set of mirror lines and so uh, symbolically it is denoted by 2m comma 2mm all these things you have to remember okay now the fourth one is a square lattice as the name says in this case the primitive unit cell will be a square and its characteristic features are what this is mod of a equal to mod of b and angle phi is equal to 90 degree and if you will talk about the symmetry in this case actually this lattice has four fold rotation axis and two perpendicular sets of mirror lines so it is denoted in symbol by 4m comma 2mm okay so these are the important features of a square lattice okay now finally the fifth brevis lattice in a plane is called hexagonal lattice in fact in case of hexagonal lattice the primitive unit cell of this lattice is a rhombus as you can see in this figure this unit cell is a rhombus and it is characterized by mod of a equal to mod of b and phi is equal to 120 degree this is the feature of this hexagonal lattice okay and uh, if you talk about the symmetry axis uh, in fact it has six fold rotation axis and six sets of mirror lines intersecting each other at 30 degree 30 degree at the point of highest symmetry when you say the point of highest symmetry that means the point involving a higher number of symmetry elements than other points okay so these are the important features of hexagonal lattice so i think uh, you have understand what are the five different uh, plane lattices introduced by brevis which are called brevis lattice in a plane or brevis lattice in two dimensions so uh, as uh, uh, these things you have to remember so write down these things in your notebook revise it remember it and then you can easily write in your examination now in the second part of this lecture we will discuss the brevis lattice in three dimensions and as i have told you that in three dimensional space the point symmetry groups require the 14 different lattice types one uh, and uh, <coughs> 13 special lattice types we will see in the next lecture actually the general lattice type is the tri clinic lattice in this case Uh, on the basis of the seven types of conventional unit cells the 14 lat uh, lattice types will be generated and that will be grouped into seven systems and those will be triclinic monoclinic orthorhombic tetragonal cubic
trigonal and hexagonal and all these things we will discuss in the forthcoming lecture thank you very much